Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. I uh, had a subscriber uh, leave a comment on uh, my Luminar uh, Technology video, ticker LAZR, I just uh, did yesterday. Uh, left this uh, ticker uh, for Velodyne Lighter. So um, I got to researching it, I got to liking what I uh, saw on it, and uh, just thought I would do a uh, quick video on it. So uh, this one is uh, Velodyne Lighter. And uh, maybe it'll run up uh, with uh, catch some of the um, drift from um, Microvision and uh, some of the other lighter ones. Uh, we'll see what happens with it. So it might be one to put on your radar as well. Uh, but this one is a uh, Velodyne uh, lighter uh, ticker VLDR. And as you can see right now, trading for 1466, 64. Here's kind of what it's done in the uh, last uh, month kind of from 1160 so if you're looking for one to trade you might be able to even make a couple bucks on this one uh, trading it um, I don't give tax legal or trading advice so you'd have to do that on your own figure it out on your own uh, but this kind of right here is a uh, kind of a nice spike on the uh, 23rd I believe that was uh, last Friday so that might have been running up in regards to a microvision right there so and this bike might be also so it's hard to say um, but I'm sure this one's kind of riding uh, kind of like a uh, microvision so like I said uh, put this one on your radar as well if you don't know what this one is again it's in the uh, real-time three-dimensional 3d vision and autonomous systems and feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Uh, been around since uh, 1983. Headquartered in San Jose, California. Uh, 309 employees. Um, average volume of 3.17 million. So not a whole lot of volume on this one. Uh, but it looks like there's still some volatility in it. Low today of 1477. Opened at 1514. And a high of 1611. Uh, 52 week low of 1018 and a high of 3250 so there is some play in this one it's got pretty good ratings a uh, 71% uh, earnings coming up on uh, May 6th after hours uh, so we'll see what this one uh, does and uh, go from there so uh, this is the video that I made and uh, this comment was uh, left on there so we'll take a look at this one and uh, see what it has to offer here so uh, this is their actual uh, website. Um, I found a uh, video here. Um, there's no audio on it, so it's just music. So we can go ahead and uh, play that. It'll kind of go over uh, some of their products. And um, the quality is not the greatest on it, um, but still give you kind of something to watch in regards to some of their products. Like I said, there's no uh, talking on it. It's just um, music. Uh, kind of goes over some of their products and some of their delivery systems. So if you have any uh, Velodyne, uh, you can leave that in the comments, or any Microvision, or any uh, Luminar Technologies, LAZR, if there's any other uh, LiDAR companies that you're uh, looking at, or uh, want to see a video on it, be happy to take a look at them for you. But I think they're all uh, really interesting companies. Social distancing monitors. It's a very cool uh, technology.
it's going over a couple different websites here I haven't um, checked into those yet I just uh, found this video here on their website uh, but looks like you can go pretty in depth on uh, watching quite a few different things about uh, Velodyne but that's it for the video I just thought I'd uh, throw that in there and uh, show some of their information uh, some of the highlights uh, so here's kind of some of their LiDAR solutions. The Alpha Prime delivers an uh, unrivaled combination of field of view range, uh, image clarity with the Alpha Prime, Ultra Puck, high density long range image generated to the Ultra Puck makes the industry favorite for robotics and mapping. So seeing some of their um, Robots run around kind of reminded me of another company that I've done videos on uh, AITX um, So you can take a look at those and uh, Find those in my library as well. That's actually a, a penny stock um, Probably 20 30 cents. I can't remember what the price is on it. I haven't looked at it in a while So here's a few of the uh, partners uh, NVIDIA, uh, I talked about them earlier on uh, right there on uh, Microvision, how they uh, might be acquiring, um, but it's just a rumor, so. But some of the major ones Ford, Caterpillar, Volvo, Hyundai, Baidu. I think I've talked about all these companies here except, well, Volvo on uh, some um, EV. Uh, videos but um, I think I've went over all those companies at one point in time so that's a little bit um, of their um, website here it kind of goes into uh, some of the other products that they have uh, that's just so cool I love uh, technology AI and lidar and sensors and it's all intriguing it's all cool stuff Got to be a fun place to work, so. And I could swear I've seen these cars doing deliveries uh, for uh, Walmart. <clears throat> At Velodyne LiDAR signs a multi-year sales agreement with uh, Getek. Uh, that's what you just saw there on the uh, website right there. Uh, so this one's uh, growing, so. Announced a multi-year uh, sales agreement with uh, Getek Industry, a leader in the automating on-road transportation networks, uh, B2B middle mile logistics, uh, LiDAR sensors to support short haul logistics with precise, reliable navigation for real-time autonomous operations. Uh, again, they're out of uh, San Jose, uh, California. Uh, today announced the multi-year uh, sales agreement with uh, Getek. Uh, so we'll see uh, what this could be a uh, major catalyst uh, for this one. So micro fulfillment centers, uh, dark stores and retail locations, a logistics flow known as the uh, middle mile. Uh, Getic fulfills uh, revenue generating autonomous orders daily for multiple Fortune 500 customers in the United States and Canada, including Walmart, which we saw. Reducing customer costs and keeping delivery time short. They are demonstrating how Velodyne sensors help AVs uh, provide efficient and safe movement of goods. Lighter sensors support short haul logistics with a precise, reliable navigation for real time autonomous operations. Gaddock operates a fleet of class of three to six trucks equipped with multi-temperature compartments seven days a week 12 hours a day on routes of up to 300 miles in multiple markets across North America Gaddix solution helps retailers meet consumer demand for rapid delivery of goods driven by soaring e-commerce growth uh, so if I guess uh, Amazon has their own but you never know uh, Amazon could uh, get into it uh, later if Walmart's in it, um, Target could jump on, uh, grocery stores, just all kinds of different things could be a major growth uh, catalyst for, for this one. 
Uh, Gedek is bringing autonomous delivery into the mainstream and creating significant efficiencies in supply chain logistics for retailers. It may be an eye opener for many people to learn Gedek's AVs using Velodyne sensors were likely involved in delivering some of the goods they are using in their homes. Uh, Chief Executive Officer, uh, they are demonstrating how Velodyne sensors help AVs provide efficient and safe movement of goods. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. This kind of goes over a little bit more about uh, Velodyne. And you can go to their website right there. <clears throat> this kind of goes over a little bit more about uh, Getic, uh, the B2B for Fortune 500 companies. Why Plug Power, Bluma Energy, and Velodyne Lighter stocks all pop today? I've talked about Plug Power a couple times. I think I've even touched on Bloom Energy once or twice. Uh, try to go over as much um, energy companies as I can here on the channel. All of which are acting well to a story on thefly.com recapping recent developments in the electric car industry. Um, as of 1.50 p.m., uh, this is actually on yesterday. Uh, Plug was up 3.6, Bloom was up 6.4, and Velodyne is doing its uh, best of all at 6.6. .6. Wide-ranging uh, report entitled uh, Charged the Fly This uh, Morning recapped a series of developments touching on electric cars headlined by a summary of the White House Thursday announcements of a 15 billion dollar project to accelerate and deploy electric vehicles and charging stations. Create uh, good paying jobs, union jobs, and enable a clean transportation future. Uh, so definitely another catalyst to watch on all of these. Uh, granted this particular project is uh, probably more relevant to a uh, car charging network such as ChargePoint. If you have any charge point, you can leave that in the uh, comments as well. With uh, unsurprisingly, reacted positively to the announcement, gaining 9.5 percent last week. But in line with the uh, president's announcement uh, last week, also saw Bank of America, for example, initiate coverage of lighter companies. It says companies uh, like Velodyne are uniquely levered. To the trend of more and more car companies going both electric and autonomous. Uh, so I definitely, if you're into autonomy, I would definitely put this one on your uh, radar. And I uh, thank you for bringing this one to my attention. That was appreciated. Um, uh, give us another one to uh, look at here. Uh, so the trend is towards electric cars, all sorts of battery electric, hybrid, gas electric, and even fuel cell electric is gaining steam or even approaching inevitability. So I've kind of touched on all those. I like to be uh, diversified and uh, not only uh, look at EVs, but kind of the picks and shovels uh, behind, uh, like the uh, lithium. Uh, I've talked about uh, lithium quite a few times here on the channel, and... Um, Copper, cobalt, um, any of those types of plays, as well as uh, charge point, uh, charging stations, plug power. Try to uh, kind of hit it all and uh, be diversified. So, analysts at Goldman Sachs have rated Velodyne uh, with a price target was set at thirteen dollars. They're giving it a neutral rating at a current price of fourteen eighty. There is no downside potential. There is downside potential of 12.16%. Uh, so again, a price target of 13, current rating of a neutral. Uh, so you can take those for what it's worth or uh, not. Um, I usually try to research them as well as look at a couple different analysts. Um, can go back to uh, Robinhood. So this is showing it at a 71% buy on their ratings. Uh, take that for what it's worth as well. So, um, Validine uh, shares should uh, contact Shareholders Foundation in connection with a lawsuit against uh, Validine. 
Uh, so this would be something else to uh, think about if you're uh, looking into this particular company. Again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. Uh, just bringing these to your attention uh, so we can um, all compare notes and all make uh, money together and uh, see if this one goes uh, with the uh, microvision, with the um, action that it's uh, getting in regards to uh, Reddit. I uh, just made a, another microvision uh, video. I've done a couple here in the last days, so you'll have to check those out as, those out as well. So. Uh, shareholders Foundation announces that a lawsuit pending on certain investors in uh, Velodyne uh, prior to November 2020 and continue to hold any of their Velodyne shares have certain options and should contact shareholders. Uh, so you can kind of read through this information. I'll uh, pause here, but you can pause the video and uh, go over the rest of the that there for yourself. Um, here's kind of some contact information and email over here to uh, Reddit. Let's see if there's any information here. And for the long haul, great long term play. Uh, so that's what I was going to say earlier. A lot of these, I'm looking at them long term. Uh, some of these aren't going to just take off overnight these are as you can see by their websites um, they're just getting into uh, some of the products and just starting to expand uh, with the uh, get it company and it's just gonna continue to snowball from there I think uh, with the uh, AI the uh, lighter and uh, so on um, the AI um, it's just gonna continue to grow so these are at least a two probably more like a five or a ten year uh, um, hold for myself so I'm this one I will continue to watch um, I have some microvision I just bought some microvision today um, but um, this is gonna be another one to uh, put on my radar here as well over here to uh, stock twits currently at uh, 1461 uh, you can see the 52 week low of 1018 high of 3250 2.8 billion dollar market cap and uh, volume of 2.39 million so you'll get a little bit of volatility with this one. I suppose if you wanted to trade it, you could. Um, more power to you. We'll watch as a re-entry uh, this week. Getting a LiDAR imaging ETF. Oh, when are we? So this is Microvision at uh, 1980. Uh, this is Luminar on a video that I did uh, yesterday. This is uh, Velodyne we're on right now. And not sure what this one is. Must be giving up early morning bump because another class action. Keep bringing them. So that's kind of some of the information uh, we just went over. So um, if this one's going to be going down, might be uh, one to watch. Uh, you might be able to buy the dip on it if you're interested in it and looking at it over the long term, or you might want to wait until the uh, lawsuit. Uh, that information that he talked about is uh, over, so we'll just have to wait and see on this one. Uh, like I said, this one was left in the comments and thought it looked interesting, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. So Naked shorting is oppressive with this one, so... But that's all that I have on uh, Velodyne. Uh, I'll see if um, Tip Ranks has 14.56 high of 19.29 with a 32% upside, showing a moderate buy. At uh, eight analysts uh, show four as a buy, high of 30 and a low of 13. Um, but if you have any of this one, go ahead and leave in the comments or any other lidar stocks that would be interesting to know as well. And if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is J Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.